music, Saturday, November 21st, and this is your update. So I had a bit of an exciting week this week. I got to reread my favorite book, Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad, and now the flame war begins. The major problem people have with Conrad is the racism in his book. And I know the quotey fingers are already going to get me into trouble, but allow me to address this issue because it really gets under my skin. I think Conrad gets the racist card a little unfairly, though I do admit I understand where people are coming from on this one. For example, one of the main arguments is that blacks are described only as limbs, eyes, arms, whatever. Arms are limbs, but you know what I'm saying. The reason I'm going to put this in the non-admissible pile is Conrad was pushing a style in Heart of Darkness, which was inscrutability. The blacks in the book are the most inscrutable things you could possibly get, so having full descriptions of them kind of defeats the purpose of your inscrutable theme. Yeah. But, again, this was written in 1899. Conrad isn't exactly best buddies with all the blacks he does portray in the novel. But let's be fair here, Marlowe treats them better than anyone. And the book was an injuncture against colonialism. Conrad was from Poland, which at this point was no longer on the map for colonial power, so he wasn't exactly friendly to the system that be. Does that make grammatical sense? The other major argument people throw as the racism card for Conrad is it takes place in Africa. Africa is the heart of darkness! Yeah, guys, it's 1899! Colonialism! Western society hadn't been exploring Africa for all that long. It's certainly not the heart of it, which is the Congo, which is where the book's taking place. And yes, as an anthropology major, that doesn't mean that it was unexplored. Of course the natives had been exploring it, but the book is written from a Western perspective. For a Western audience. Oh, maybe it makes sense now. The number one reason I hate the racist argument for Conrad is that Really, the book is one big allegory for the Inferno. Yes, the poem by Dante. Marlowe starts out on the outside and circles inward, confronting the inner darkness within each of us, and unlike all the other whites, by the way, are the ones that are described as inhuman, not the blacks. He's able to face the darkness within his soul, come out through the center, and become a better person because of it. And really, guys, if we're going to throw the racist card around, let's throw it at Uncle Tom's cabin. Oh, lordy, master, I never stay again. Ah, uh, that was a really bad impression, wasn't it? And yeah, people are going to say, but Emily, Uncle Tom's cabin was supporting anti-slavery movements. It had to talk like that. That's how blacks talk. Which is, Conrad was supporting anti-colonialism. Of course he had to talk that way. Now, I'll admit, Conrad may not have been all for total equality between the races, but let's be realistic. Who was in 1899? Guys, you know, I don't personally correspond with the dead spirit of Joseph Conrad, so I can't tell you whether he himself was personally racist or not. But even so, I'm not sure it matters if he was or not. Let's think about this. Samuel Taylor Coleridge was an opium addict. Nobody says that we shouldn't read Rime of the Ancient Mariner because he was on a drug trip. Though, on that note, Kubla Khan is the most messed up poem you will ever have to read. And of course, our beloved president also is in the Conrad racist camp. So Obama, I have your number. I mean, I don't actually have your number, but yeah. Moving on to other stuff. I had a friend note my lisp in the video. Yeah. I know it's there. Thanks. Uh, a little bit self-conscious, but I have had another friend tell me it's really the camera that's exaggerating it, and I'm not that bad in person. I don't know if you can see this, but I don't have a state-of-the-art video camera. If you look in this mirror, that's my digital camera. That's all I got, guys. I mean, unless you want to donate and get me, you know, high-def equipment, a boom mic, editing software. Donations are open! What else have I been up to? Well, Hannah's got me addicted, again, to Tales of Symphonia, which, if you haven't played it, go out, buy yourself a GameCube or a Wii, and do it. The characters are deep, the plot is involving, and the moral direction it takes is one that's innovative and I haven't seen it before. Also totally addicted to some music videos for this game, so uh, check out Heart of Shoe. I can't stop watching your videos. Please, it's, it's ruining my life. I need help. So really, this is easily the best game I've ever played. Excepting maybe Pokemon. 
what I'll be doing over the Thanksgiving break. Um, this is a big first for me. I have never not had Thanksgiving with my family, except for the one year where I had an ear infection, but I was still home. And Thanksgiving's a major holiday in my family, so this is going to be a little strange. And there won't be under the sea jello. You can't have Thanksgiving without that. So what I'll be doing instead, I'm going to be in the city either Wednesday or Friday with Hana. We're getting Chinese, and we're going to be seeing the 39 Steps for a class of mine. So it should be pretty cool. I'll let you all know how that went. That's kind of your brief update for the moment, guys. I was really excited about getting to read Heart of Darkness again. It killed my brain. I've had such a long week. I really need to sleep. But I thought I'd let you know I'm doing well. Hopefully I'll be able to talk to you guys next week. Tomorrow I finally get to go to Target and get some much-needed groceries. If only I had some much-needed money. But my next update should be pretty interesting. I should be able to go back into the city again. Maybe I'll get some more pictures. I'll try and clue you guys in. I hope I'll talk to you soon. Bye. You're a little bit racist. Well, you're a little bit too. I guess we're both a little bit racist. Admitting it is not an easy thing to do. But I guess it's true. Between me and you, I think everyone's a little bit